Hey there, fellas and ladies, Mano back here with another Destiny 2 video. Today, we're talking about the corrupted versions of Expunge, their amazing loot that you can get, and also how to farm the loot within them so that you can get top tier loot from Season of the Splicer. I've seen a couple of videos talking about, quote, the best way to farm these, but unfortunately, there's some misunderstanding in the community about how they work. So I wanted to make sure that I give you all the details, plus the actual real best farm. Now, the reason you want to actually farm these corrupted versions of the missions is not only because they will give you a ton of loot and decrypted data for your weapon rolls, they will also give you the potential to get double rolled weapons. In other words, weapons that have two perks on them. This season's weapons are probably the best that we've seen all year with things like Grid Skipper, Chroma Rush, and Ignition Code. Being able to roll two perks on a weapon is insanely strong. Also, the Corrupted Chests give you a chance to get high stat rolled armor. So let's actually talk about how you can get those things. The first thing you need to do is upgrade your vulnerability exploit on your Splicer Gauntlet upgrades. They're now available in the far right slot, which was locked until this week. Once you've got those unlocked, the next thing you need to do is go into the corrupted version of the expunge missions. The only one available at the time of making this video is the one on the Tangled Shore, which is the Corrupted Labyrinth, which will be at a 1300 power level difficulty. Basically, it's just a taken version of the Labyrinth, but there are a couple of lore pieces that I don't want to spoil in the video, so I would really recommend that you go check that out. However, to open the chest at the end of it, you will need a corrupted key code. Otherwise, all you'll get is decrypted data. You can hold up to five max in your inventory, but you can actually hold some of them in your postmaster as well on your different characters. Farming these are actually the best way to get your access to the double rolled and high stat armor gear from the corrupted versions of Expunge. So let's talk about some varying methods you can use to actually farm these corrupted key codes. First, you can farm it within the override activity. However, this is not the fastest farm. While not the best farm, it does work well when you're farming for other roles and weapons or maybe hunting decrypted data or just wanting to be able to use stuff inside the Umbral Decoder. I've also seen some people advocate for going on the Altars of Sorrow and the Last Wish Raid. However, Let's talk about Altars of Sorrow. You get no encrypted data from that. You get no random rolls except the Altars and Sorrow gear. And for that, you have to chance it on people actually farming the Altars of Sorrow. It's not the best farm, and I've seen some people advocate for it. And for me, it doesn't seem like a very smart strategy. During all the times that I actually played the Altars of Sorrow, I went through two full versions of the Altars of Sorrow, got the final chests, and I did not receive a key once. Also, some people are advocating for the last wish farm. That's where you go to Shiro Cheese Encounter and you just farm that. Problem is, is it takes time to get the code. It requires raid banners. You have to do it over and over and over and over again. There is a better way. This is an old trick, but it works fantastic for this. This is, of course, the old Thrallway checkpoint. By using this checkpoint here, you can actually farm Corrupted Data, Glimmer, Synth Strand, as well as Ether. You can do all of that AFK. It is very simple for a setup. And again, most of you know this old trick, but this is the fastest way to actually get corrupted key codes. Now, I'm not sure why this works still, especially because this isn't a current activity. You will need to have Destiny 2 Forsaken and you will need to be able to hop inside of the Shattered Throne. If you're not sure where to go for that, go on to the Dreaming City and check out the dungeon. That is where the Shattered Throne is. Now, you can either do the first encounter of the Shattered Throne on your own and then get yourself to the Infinite Thrallway, or you can grab a checkpoint from someone else. It's up to you. Honestly, there's a lot of people on LFGs or looking for groups that have that Thrallway checkpoint, and it's one that's easy to get. You'll want to be on your Solar Titan. Check out the bottom tree of your Sunbreaker subclass. You'll have a code of the Siegebreaker. If you notice there, there are many things built around the idea of creating sunspots. What you're going to do is create a sunspot where you kill an enemy, basically stay there in that spot and just chill out. You can just go AFK or away from keyboard or controller, hang out, and it will generate kills for you as well as glimmer synth cord as well as give you chances of dropping corrupted keys now there's actually two infinite thrallways in this dungeon this is the first one that happens in the middle of the second encounter 
and basically you're in an area where you're slowed and you don't regain health what you're going to do is find a spot where you can just stay in place and basically be tucked into a corner the second throwaway is easy to get to as well but you do have to get past the ogre which for solo players can be a little bit difficult now here you can see i'm shooting the rifle a little bit you do need to tease them in this infinite throwaway sometimes they'll just basically stay back if you don't kill them but right here i'm going to turn around as soon as i get a couple of them here and i'm tucked into the corner i punch one and you can see i've made a sunspot now every single time one of the enemies pops into this sunspot they will die instantly as well as making me glimmer and all the different materials the fact that you can do this afk it costs nothing you can farm other materials for transmog as well as ether and it's easy you don't even have to be at the game makes this the best farm now i'm not sure why this encounter is also the best but you will actually see here in this clip within one minute of each other i will get two corrupted key codes here i'm actually in my menu because i'm on the other side of my computer and i'm actually indexing some recordings and things like that you're gonna see i get another key code here in just a second and i'm not doing anything i'm just sitting here hanging out every other farm is a waste of time in my opinion now what i would do is get the five key codes you can have in your inventory and then go do the corrupted expunge missions and then go get as many chests as you can the great thing about this is that you can go into expunge pick up the chest every single time as well as getting a ton of encrypted data so you can upgrade your path for your splicers gauntlet or if you want to go ahead and use the umbral decoder you can use that as well the only downside to this system is one that's on Bungie's side. The fact that you can only get nine of these per account per week is a little bit rough. The fact that you can't just use the Umbral Decoder once you've gotten the seasonal tree completely unlocked and get double rolls on things does make it a little bit tough. You also can't control are you going to get weapons or are you going to get armor? So I would make sure that you get to farming this right away. Unlock that far right side of your tree so you can get three items on each character which three times three is nine. And then as soon as you run out of corrupted key codes, go back into the Shattered Throne with that throwaway checkpoint so you don't have to waste any time. During this, you should make sure that you move a little bit every couple of minutes or so, but this is also a great opportunity if you'd like to work on some exotic catalysts. But again, it's your choice, whatever you'd like to do. But by far, the fastest way to farm the corrupted key codes is by doing this. It is the simplest, easiest way, and I hope that you enjoy. If you found something in this video to be useful, make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. If you do enjoy it, make sure you turn on the bell because then you will get notified of whenever I am making other YouTube videos so that you can stay up to date with what's going on in Destiny. Make sure you come over to the Twitch channel. I help out people all the time with Grandmaster Nightfalls, raids, other PV activities, as well as some fun PVP times. Make sure you join the community Discord. That link is down below. Also, if you liked my prior videos, maybe check out the two that are going to come here at the end. Good hunting, Guardians. I will see you next time in the universe of Destiny.